Hannah, how bad is it? Super bad. Am I gonna regret opening this door? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... All right, well, thank you, Lisa. You sent me a box that's bigger than my car. This looks like Abigail's drawings. What an interesting sound, do you hear that? <laughs> it's jingly. Is this all of it? No, there's one more in the back. <laughs> there's one in the back? How much trouble did you have getting it in there? Well, the nice man at the post office came out and helped me put it in there. He's like, are these gonna fit in there? <laughs> I was like, yeah. That's awesome. All He's right, like, well, man, that smart car is nice. <laughs> right, it is so nice. Except I had to stay at home so you could get all the packages in. <laughs> this one's from Mark. Well, how am I gonna get all these in? Well, I got hands. I guess I'll get the big ones, you get the little ones. Okay, the little ones are heavy. <laughs> the, well, this big one's heavy too. I know. All right, let's go. Fight! All right, we're gonna start with this package because it looks easy to get into. I like to start without struggle. A warm up package. They only get harder from here. <laughs> this is from Ryan uh, in Louisiana. Are you ready? Should yes. I should I just rip it out? Do you know what's in it? I have no idea. Oh. I mean, it feels video game DVD shape, but I don't know. Okay. They're socks. Yay. <laughs> Let's start with that. What? Oh, yes! <laughs> I think somebody sent us a Taco Bell gift card. Uh, that's for you. Oh, I will be wearing those. Okay, so a note with a gift card. I'm super into that. Dear Dallas and Hannah, have a dinner and date night on me. Uh, two great movies if you've never seen them. Is there... Oh, there's movies in there. I was like, wait, what? Okay. That's why you read the note last, is to not spoil it. Let's go! That's awesome. I know what's for dinner tonight. Thank okay, you. Okay, so a couple movies here. You open that one and I'll get into this one. I'm very excited about this. It's a blockbuster VHS. That yellow blockbuster, that deserves a display on the shelves. Virus, all right, sweet. Well, we have been watching a lot of movies on VHS, so. This looks sweet. Have you ever seen Phantom? I have not. Very good movie, one of my favorites when I was a kid. That's awesome. Well, uh, why don't you go ahead and, and dig into this box here. And uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna throw Phantom in. We're gonna, we're gonna watch it together. I think this one is the one from our dear viewer, Abigail. It's got all the drawings on it. The hand-eye coordination that is required for these scissors, <laughs> I swear to you. All You're right. so much better at it. <laughs> this is from Kevin. Here we go. Ooh, Beyblade, right on top. Okay, there's two letters. One letter, one drawing. Oh, look at the. <laughs> That's awesome. Jack Skellington. Very good. You got you got the size proportion ratio perfect. For sure. Hey, Tindo and Hannah, here's another box of nonsense from the great state of Oklahoma. Continue to be a positive force in the world, Kevin and Abigail. Aww. Thank you guys so much. I'm, that's all I needed today was some Beyblade. <laughs> and I've actually never seen this launcher. It's actually not even a launcher. Uh, certain launchers attached to it to give you a better grip. Aww. That's pretty awesome. All right. Let's move the Beyblade out of the way. What is this? You open that. I love Ben's nonsense. It's a Bakugan bag. Look at this. I've never seen this bag. Is it full of Bakugan? Ah, it's full of Bakugan. What? <laughs> That's awesome. I've never seen this bag before. Completely full of Bakugan and Bakugan cards. What is it? No. Let me show the camera. I have no idea. Is that what I think it is? Oh! What? It's our first and only inbox Gigapets. That is awesome. Oh my god! I'm gonna have to make some room on our keychain shelf to put that on because I don't have any room for full packages. Oh, it's a cute one. I love it. Kevin, definitely comment below or comment on our Discord, which is the rest of you can join. Uh, link in the description. Uh, did that show up in the bottom of the bin? I mean, most of ours have come from the bins. I've got two games here. Name this game. 
and video pinball. That's awesome. Very, very awesome. And a pin from Alien. That's awesome. Loot pins are good. More Beyblade. That definitely looks like some Ben's Beyblade. Nice. That's awesome. The Dragon Ball Z puzzle. Oh, Dragon Ball Z puzzle. Power Rangers puzzle. That's going on the shelf. SpongeBob and his oh. boat car. Gears of War stickers. Oh, yes. That's awesome. Inbox, baby. Let's go. Sing it. This is so, so much Ben's nonsense. A Doctor Who Sonic screwdriver spork. <laughs> you know what? Actually, we had we had this, and I broke it. So I'm really, really glad we have another one. That's awesome. A pop. Walking Dead, right? Yeah, that's um. Some card shop. sleeves. Those are beautiful. Dragon card sleeves. Build your own Beyblade. You know what I like. Ooh, another pen. It's another loop pen. It says, screw your lab safety. I want superpowers. Lol. That's awesome. <laughs> Ooh, that's my favorite one. Venom pen. Sweet. Well, I've got some pens for tonight's live show. Definitely come back for our live show tonight at 10 p.m. And the rest of the stuff in here is Beyblade and build your own lightsaber stuff. Next box. This is from... Keith and Nancy, and you've wrapped it quite wonderfully. I'm not sure how to get into it. I don't see any instructions, so let's just cut the side. It's like Christmas. Cut number two. Wow, I don't even, I can't even imagine what's about to be in here. Are you ready? Ooh, I see oh Power Rangers. All right, let's read the note first. Ooh, Trader Joe's. Dear Hannah Warrior Princess Nintendo, I look forward to seeing you every day. I have been known to binge watch your channel. Being 65, I have enough stuff and nonsense. So I live vicariously through you. I hope and pray that you find all the things uh, your heart desired. Fargo has Valley Con, a small comic con, and a store called Paradox Board Game Collectibles. Paradox. Action figures, cards, and all sorts of Pokemon, etc. We also have 25 thrift stores within a 10 mile radius of my home. That's awesome. Your fan from Fargo, North Dakota. My son uh, is your doppelganger. Haha, <laughs> <So laughs> same. <funny. laughs> we could definitely be brothers. Is this a second note? Uh, list of where it all came from. Ooh. Yes, very helpful. Well, we'll read that at the end. Don't let me forget because we don't want to give away what is in here. All right, that's awesome. I didn't realize that was a keychain. That's cool. I like that. Ooh, there's another one. That's awesome. I immediately want to go for the bubble wrap. Actually, <laughs> that looks like I need to save it because I know what it is. <laughs> a train. Why do I always go right for the bubble wrap? Oh, yes. Uh, that might get really close to help me complete my set of those McDonald's Flintstones movie toys. That's cool. That's very cool. Gigantor dice. Lol. Pick a number, Hannah, one through six. Um, two. It's five, you're wrong. I almost said seven. I was like, that was the complete <laughs> opposite of your instructions. <laughs> All right, what is this? It's a, oh, it's a pink elephant. Oh, That's for you. So cute. What is this? Uh oh. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Watch me unroll this. Not you, Bim. You don't watch. I'm not watching. I'll watch it by eyes closed. <laughs> All right, open them. Open them. <gasps> Look at the shoes on that one. Those are those are the newer ones. They're ridiculous. All right, well, tell us about them. I, I, I know nothing about them. Okay, she is from the newer sets, probably around 2015. I actually have the J from this collection. They're all, like, candy-themed. She's got cupcakes on her dress. Um, this one, I actually have this one, 
and she's probably in equally good condition. This is crazy. But this was one that I really wanted to get. Um, she is from the Play Sports collection. So that's a really awesome one too. These are beautiful. Well, we got some video games. Oh. <laughs> I can't see anything because I'm fogging this up. Well, there's a couple face the masks mask. in there. Those the masks mask are pretty good size. Is it comfortable? Yeah, it's all right. Nice. There's two of them. Uh, but yeah, a couple video games. Assassin's Creed, Indiana Jones, PS3. Super into that. Care Bear. Sweet. And then a whole run of Tupperware for That's you. That's a Tupperware. That Tupperware's got some Lego in it. <laughs> this is awesome. Look at that. Check this out. Pepper sets. I can't read. I can't wait to read the note about where this is from because this definitely looks like some Ben's nonsense. Trees. Perfect. That's awesome. Lots of turn one inside Christmas ornament. A bag of Pez. Ooh, I've never seen that one. <laughs> Those are awesome. There's more Tupperware in there. Grab that. So this one's cool. Um, oh, you! I remember this book. I bought this like at, a, at the school fair when I was a kid. That's going on the yo-yo shelf. That's awesome. Um, I don't know what its original purpose is, but whenever I was a kid, we had this. Oh, it is a toy. We had it for our like little um, kitchen set. That's awesome. And our like play, our play area. That's that's probably my favorite one in there because you just recently bought some of the small ones. I did. Here's another good one. Uh, there's several Power Ranger books here, and this one is awesome because I don't already have it in my collection. Though I have some of these, uh, they're gonna be too difficult for me to get out. I have some from this collection, so I'm always happy to put these books into my collection. I love Power Rangers stuff like that. All right, well, super awesome. Now let's read the note about where that stuff is from. I, I felt like some of it was from the bins, but I wouldn't know. All right, here we go. Dear Hannah Warrior Princess Nintendo, here's where I got the things in the box. Tendo trash garbage, uh, uh, Tendo trash garbage can I found somewhere. Dice from my collection, Lego kids, Magazines are from my grandchildren. Uh, they wanted to share, and they are your thrifting buddies. Uh, the elephant is from your collection. Power Ranger mask, PlayStation games, Care Bear are all from a trips to the bins. Bins nonsense. Lots of Pez uh, from your collection. Keychains I purchased for you at the thrift store. Small turquoise bowl from my childhood to Hannah for her kitchen. Uh, Christmas Lego and Hobbit poster from my collection. And <laughs> Hannah, I prayed I'd find some Brad stalls. I never go to Savers, but I went to Savers and there were some Brad stalls there. That's awesome. What luck. That's super, super awesome. Well, thank you for that. Pretty stoked about those. Oh, that's not it. I've all, I always, I always <laughs> almost forget things. I, these are some trading cards of some sort, but I actually can't tell what through the bag. No, they're Nightmare Before Christmas. That's, that's awesome. That's and you. <laughs> yeah, well, they're gonna probably just hang on our wall. Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas trading card. It is the game though. Okay, well, oh. that's always a difficult thing because we want to learn to play some of those games. I think we have a deck or something from the game and these are a different expansion pack. So like, we're probably gonna have to like open half of them for an episode one day on Rubber Duck Yellow. Link in the description or on the channel where we do gaming stuff. That's awesome. I've never seen those. Super, super awesome. Phantom will be playing shortly in the background if we don't finish this video before the previews are over. Okay, there's two more packages, and I'm a little bit stressed about this one. They're so heavy, and they're from Canada, and they're numbered. This one's numbered one of two, so we'll start there, and this is from Mark. I'm trying real hard not to look, because whenever you send stuff like this, you legally have to declare for customs what's in there. And so anytime I see that slip, I just purposely try not to look at it. Because I don't want spoilers! Alright, we're going to do the top reveal together. First thing we have, big scissor protection. Worked. It was very <laughs> successful. Oh! What? Can't read, no spoilers. Oh my gosh, but wait, well, we're already spoiled, man. Look at this! <gasps> It's like a, oh, and Hannah's, you, they can't see what you can see. Hannah's already spotted something too. All right, well, that's probably going to be the coolest thing in my baby, babe, 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 bab
Uh, to Tindo and Hannah Bob, we discovered your channel in April when we were on lockdown. You have brought great entertainment and great laughs when we needed it. My boyfriend and I look forward to your posts every day after work. Uh, it is the first thing when we are eating our dinner that we watch. We wanted to send you some things that we found at Our Salvation Army and Value Village as a thank you for the great content. You can keep what you want and sell the rest of it in your booth from your Canadian fans. P.S. There are two boxes. I uh, could not fit it all in one box. Lisa and Mark. <sighs> I, I'm, already, I'm overwhelmed by this. It's, it's like I collect... Beyblade stuff, but it's a little bit difficult because I don't want to collect too much of it, and I don't really try to collect the new stuff. The, and, which and this is older, this is vintage, and so like it's perfect. It's the perfect kind of thing. It's just so big. I'm gonna have to like tack it onto the side of one of my shelves over here. I'm gonna have to make up a way to display it. That's crazy. All right, Hannah, let's jump right to this. Cause, All right. Because we just can't leave that hanging. I. Uh, what? <laughs> well, first of all. Okay. Beheaded. But well, okay. This is insane. Do you know what this is? This is a very special doll. There is one collection, I want to say 2006. I remember you telling me it was special because you wanted it real bad when you were a kid. Yeah, well, this one, this is actually not from that collection. It's no. a different thing. There are three dolls that they did like a, a, like authentic kimono kind of. Thing to, I never thought I would see one of these dolls ever. That's awesome. This is insane. I, it's beautiful. It's probably one of the cooler ones. You're not gonna see it too well. Maybe if I zoom in a little, Hannah's Bratz doll collection right here. Uh, she puts her favorite ones on display. We have quite a few more than that, but that one's going on the front center of the shelf. It is. This is so crazy. And then this, I mean, yes, yeah, she's broken, but like this is the skirt for the formal funk. Um, Sasha dress. Well, yeah, the clothing alone is cool to have. And I really want that collection. Oh, is that her head? <laughs> oh, it, it is Sasha from that collection. We'll just have to like find a new Sasha body and put that head back on her. That'd be totally fine. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, check these out. I vaguely, well, Transformers, and then I vaguely remember this show, Legend of the Dragon. That's awesome. These are wonderful looking DVD cases. That's awesome. Um, this looks like it needs to be unwrapped, and then we'll jump into these bag toys. <laughs> That's some value village saver stuff right there, if I've ever seen it. Okay. Are you ready? I have no idea what this is. It's very heavy, though. It, feels, it looks square? It just keeps going! It just going. keeps going! Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so Bakugan cards. Cool. Goes with that Bakugan stuff from earlier. And then let's get... A, oh, some Warcraft cards. I love Warcraft cards. I have just over 75% of the whole entire uh, World of Warcraft card set, which is not nothing. It's a lot of cards, 20, 30,000 cards. This is awesome. There's a lot of hollows in here. I guess you guys found these uh, in a bag at Value Village or something. Well, let's see what that shiny one is. I'm a, I'm a sucker for shiny. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, set these aside gently. I had no idea the whole time I was unwrapping that what it was. It didn't feel like cards. Normally when there's cards in a box, I know, because you give it a shake and it has that card sound. You figured out how to fool me and I appreciate that. Okay, the rest of this looks like bag, bag wall stuff. Oh, yes, a lot of it has Beyblade. And Thomas, all right, I guess we're just gonna like, here, you start taking the bags out and then I'll open the bags back into the box. Sounds like a plan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I need to quit looking. I've already peeked at too many. Okay, I see more Pokemon. That's awesome. Beautiful. If you guys want to see more of the Pokemon cards in here, go subscribe to our other channel. Lots of Pokemon content going on over there. And then, all right, I'm just gonna start opening these bags in here. I'll make sure you can see it. Lots of Beyblade. Lots and lots. This one is gonna go on the display shelf because this is from the generation when I played. Oh, wow. Yeah, very cool. Very happy to see stuff like that. And that the top of that one is too, and these launchers are. Uh, I get a lot of questions in my inbox uh, with pictures of Beyblade asking me what's what, and I'm never really a good resource for that. I know what the oldest stuff looks like, 
but pretty much every generation after that, I have a hard time differentiating because I played with this stuff when I was a kid. Uh, that's awesome. Some sort of like launcher. Okay. But, you know, Beyblade can resell all right for lots on eBay when it's the newer stuff, but I never know much else about it. But I do like collecting it. I will say that. It's one of my favorite things. Video games and actual Beyblades on my shelf. But that stuff stands out to me because I remember it from, you know, 99, 2001. Some of these Beyblades, I don't even know what they are. Like, I've never seen these big, huge ones, and there's a couple of them. <laughs> Awesome. There's so much Beyblade. <laughs> I just keep pulling out the bags of Beyblade for you. We're just gonna go through all the Beyblade. Yeah, we'll just stay on topic for a minute. Well, I'm gonna have to definitely look some of these up because there's more and more of these huge ones. Uh, and you never know what these came in. Uh, I have some that are this big from the original run that are actually remote control. They have little weights inside of them, and depending on which way you pull the trigger, it makes the Beyblade lean that way. Super awesome. Super, super awesome. I do get tempted to... Well, let's be honest. At the moment, I have actually been just collecting all Beyblade. Not really purposefully. I've been saving them up, and we sell some in our antique malls. I mean, I find so many at the thrift, it's hard to keep all of them out of the house and stocked in our antique mall. I mean, that's how many we find. But part of me keeps thinking, you know what? 20 years from now when you're still you're an old man and you're an older man and you're still making cool retro content it'd be really cool to have like all the Beyblades ever because there's a lot but I have a lot of them so I get really tempted every time we're pricing stuff for the antique malls to just not price any Beyblade and just keep them all and just be uh, a uh, a Beyblade goblin you know what I mean <laughs> is, oh it is Power Rangers I looked at it I was like is that Power Rangers I don't remember this. Is it like this. a Pog shooter? It definitely shoots something. <gasps> it is! There's Power Ranger Pogs! Yes! Look at those. Wow. I don't remember this toy at all. It is McDonald's though. All right, well, I can go ahead and put that right on the Power Ranger shelf. I need to look up that McDonald's set because I, I, I do not recall that one. All right, more Beyblade? What more... More Imaginex, is that what I just saw? Some Imaginex, ooh, that's awesome. Iron Man, Hacky. Hacky. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I'm very stoked about these Beyblade. I'm just gonna, the reason I haven't gone full on into collecting every single Beyblade is as you can see, this is overwhelming. There's a hundred Beyblade in here and they're all different. Yeah. There's just no easy way to get into figuring out what Beyblade's what. Is it like a set? Like a little remote control Yeah, it's guy? remote control. Anytime I can get almost any toy with the remote control, I'm happy. I'm going to have to put that on a video somewhere. Now we're getting into mystery bags. Alright, uh, yeah. Now we have to guess when we go through these, what, what did they, why did they buy this one? And I also really appreciate that you left it all in the bag for us to open. I see why they got it! That's why. That's all that matters. I see another reason why they bought it. Oh, there's a second one! That's awesome. Ooh, and I definitely don't have that one. It's questionable whether or not I have that one, but I don't recall ever seeing this one, so I know it's not on my shelf. That's awesome. All right, keep them moving. Lots of Mario. Oh, yeah. That, that. Oh, yeah. Yoshi, Pikachu, Yoshi, and Bowser. I don't have this Yoshi, so that's pretty awesome. More Pokemon? More Pokemon! Oh, that's awesome. That'll go on the Pokemon shelf. Mario. Pika. <laughs> this is a turtle. A not Squirtle. Two Ninja Turtles. I think this is one that some of the stuff fell out of. Superman. Charlie. More Beyblade. More Beyblade. Very nice. So many launchers. I'm happy that sometimes you'll get Beyblade stuff and it'll just be the launchers. It'll be a bunch of incomplete nonsense that you can't really put together, but this has a lot of the good stuff here. That's awesome. That's a good bag. Oh, there's a yo-yo and several Beyblade launchers. That's awesome. 
Is that a tomato? Oh, it's... I thought it was Fazoli's. East Side Mario's. <laughs> More Beyblade. I've never seen that for a long time. Thank oh! No way! That's awesome. Would you look at it? It's like a finger. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, this I was gonna say it's another one we gotta guess, but I don't think so. There's a lot of Beyblade in here. Here's those. What restaurant is this from? Hasbro Company. I've been seeing this stuff in the uh, bins a whole lot, and I've been like, you know, what? I almost want to collect those because they're like miniature versions of board games. They're from McDonald's. I just. Oh, I mean, that's look so at cool. it, though. Yeah, I keep seeing them, and they're like. Miniature playable versions of board games. This one's magnetic, so you can figure out how to do it. You gotta be smarter than the toy. I think it's all just a little stuck. But you drag them around and actually play Operation. And, uh, but like I've seen like the Monopoly one, and it's got like a tiny Monopoly board on it. They're really cool. That's super cool. All right, more Ninja Turtles. And Yellow Power Ranger. That's awesome. Another one of these guys. Oh, I think we have to battle with them. We should. That'll be cool. Right on top. Oh, okay. So I actually recognize the white one because I have it, but I've never, I don't think I have this purple one. No, I do. Okay. Oh, okay. That's still cool. There's a third one. Yes. Yes, I definitely don't have. Uh, and then another one of those squirrels. That's awesome. All right. Well, that was box one. And now we're going to move on to box two. That was wild. And I almost want to like, I don't know, take a pee break, take a coffee break. Because <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a massive undertaking. I just, I'm over the moon. Even though this doll is broken, like these two are so awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, Mark. Okay. We can do it. Okay. Deep breaths. Okay. Breathe in. Well, spoilers. I already see one thing right on top. Baby snip. You get the baby side, I'll get the big side. <laughs> okay. Thanks again for the protection. Very useful. <laughs> As you can see, highly effective. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hannah, boom. <gasps> All right. Tell us about that one. All right. I'll dig. Oh. Close your oh. eyes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh no. We're brats rich, baby! Ooh, yes! <laughs> Holy cow! Yay! <laughs> it's several bags of clothes and shoes. And that's probably my Oh, there's another one! Oh my god! That's wild. That's insane. You're gonna have to do a live video soon where you just talk about brats, because you've got um, this box stresses me out. Brad Stall! Oh! Brad Stall! Yes! Brad Stall! Oh my god! Brad Stall! <laughs> Brad Stall! Lost you, Brad Stall! Oh my god! I'm just giving it all away, but like. Oh, that's so wild! I'm sure there's more! <laughs> okay. okay. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> well, uh, uh, we're just gonna. Oh my god, okay. Um, tins, tins. Oh We're gonna have to get a bigger house just for your brat stuff. I know, right? We need a brat's house! Ooh, vintage Pikachu. He looks, I don't have this one. He looks a little bit like, uh, no, he's buried in the back. But he looks like some of my other, I keep the vintage ones on the shelf on display. That's definitely one. So we got the Phantom finally playing in the background. We need to watch this movie together. We might watch it tonight. Okay. Uh, Spongebob. I have the Yasmin from this set, now I only need one more. You I almost have the whole set? I almost have the whole set of this one. Clothes and all, or just the dolls? Yeah, yeah. Um, this one's it. really cool. This is actually on my shelf over there. Um, this is the Flashback Fever Fiona. She was one of my favorite dolls when I was a kid. Alright, let's keep digging through this box, because it's just an insane amount. You can you can keep those on the table and, sh and talk about them here in a minute, but let's get the box out of the way. Iron Man. Oh, baby. Red and Stimpy Show. Oh, cool. Batman. Classic cartoons. That's awesome. Thomas. Thomas. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The movie. Let's go. Hokey Friends. Hokey Friends! 
A teeny tiny bag of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, definitely off the wall at Sabres. That's awesome. I love me some Yu-Gi-Oh cards if I've never made that clear. Ooh, that's awesome. Ooh, red eyes zombie dragon. Let's go. Very nice. That's actually a card we'll play with. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for that. Now we'll play Yu-Gi-Oh. Huh? Now yeah, we'll I know. Let's, let's sit down and like switch back and forth playing Bright Stalls and Yu-Gi-Oh. This is actually full of Pokemon cards. We'll just have to make a Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh haul video on Rubber Duck Yellow. There's enough in here. Bruh! Not gonna be my size. Oh. Your size, though. Oh, you need to rock man. the Dragon Ball Z. That's pretty rad. It's, it's the Saiyan evolution. Super Saiyan. I don't know what it means, but <laughs> he likes it. That's awesome. <laughs> Boom, Bradstall! Oh my god! Boom, Bradstall! Boom, Meowth! <gasps> oh, that's awesome! Oh, this one's dope. Show the show the camera here. She's got like the, the shaved side head. I don't know what collection that's from. Sorry about that. Oh, these are so dope. Look at those shoes. Here, catch. Woohoo! Alright, Gigantor SpongeBob. Woohoo! Ooh, what are these? Oh. Ooh, it's a bag. It's a purse. That's so I thought funny. It, I thought it was properly jeans. Okay. It's a nice well-made one. I'm glad we got to do this together. Oh! No what? way! Oh! That's awesome. That's so well, cute. keep digging. I'm gonna put this on the SpongeBob shelf. Oh, I see another T-shirt. Oh my God, this isn't for us. Oh yeah, this is for our friend. Oh, and it looks like her size too. That's amazing. She's gonna freak. Yeah, let's put that back down under she, the top-down camera. She loves Jim and the holograms. She's collecting all the dolls. She's sending me photos of some of hers that she's like unearthing from her her let's, stash. Let's do this right now. Let's uh, let's send a pic. Actually, do you have your phone? Yes, I do. Where's it at? It's in my pocket. Okay. You take a picture and send it to her. And I'll send it to Dan. And we'll see if we get a reply. <laughs> who responds first? Our friends, uh, Dan and Lisa, who are on the channel often, if you guys don't know, if you're watching don't know, they collect this stuff hardcore. We've, we've supplied them with, like, comic books and stuff from the series a bunch. But we're going to, like... We're gonna we're gonna text them on the show and see if they get back to us before it's over because that'd be hilarious. Uh, it's literally Elisa's like favorite thing on earth. She's been collecting stuff from it since forever, since forever. I think her grandmother had a bunch of boxes dolls in set in like in box displayed in her house for a really long time. And then she gave it to Elisa. Do you get the joke? <laughs> Praise the spaghetti monster. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. <laughs> um, but the rest of this, <laughs> this is great. the rest of this is almost overwhelming on its own. It's so a box. Here, let me let me let me give you a wide view. <laughs> there you go. That's a that's a box full of Tupperware right there. Hannah, take it out piece by piece and so tell us what crazy. you know. Okay. The hard thing about Tupperware is they all have specific purposes, and I don't always know what it's for. Like I don't. I don't know its specific purpose, but you know. Sometimes you know. we'll find random Tupperware like that. Like it's probably tortillas or something. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you'll find reg random Tupperware at the uh, thrift store, and we'll be like, "Well, it, it looks complete. We'll take it home, and we'll Google what it is later." This is the spaghetti keeper. Spaghetti. I know that. And listen, the number of times we've brought home a specific Tupperware piece, and we've been like, "Ah, we'll, we'll Google. I don't know what it's for." And people will comment with the most assured things that it is, but it'll be a hundred different things. Like, yeah. <laughs> everyone's certain that it is specifically designed for whatever their mom decided to use it for. Yeah, when they were exactly. A kid. That, that makes me just love Tupperware even more. This is crazy. I've never... Oh, we missed one! <laughs> it's full of Tupperware, too! Oh! Oh, okay. So, what? that's like a weird egg shape. And then, look at all that inside. <laughs> I think it's a roast. It looks like a roast shape. And it's got, like, a meat tray at the bottom. So, I'm guessing this is for, like... Your ham or your roast. And that's just a colander, right? Just a plasticky colander. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you recognize these? You've got some, don't you? I do. Listen, you know what this makes me think about? One of these days, like, Hannah's going to start her own channel or there will be some component of this channel where we do more 
cooking stuff. We don't. There's a lot of things we want to do. Eat like even on our live shows, like do live cooking, like you see on talk shows. Like there's a lot of this stuff we want to do. But room is a very big problem for this. But like this stuff alone is all stuff you need to keep just for that. Yeah. You know, because like just you, one day you're gonna have every, you just need to have every Tupperware piece ever. Just only cook with vintage dishes. That's that's the plan. This is awesome. These are really cool. There's actually little tiny lids that match these. Um, we always used them for like tiny little salad dressings in your like to take to work. Yeah, there's. It's a bunch of them ever come. They're very nice. They're so cool. These are way better shape than the ones we had at well, home. I, and I must say also, I don't know if I've ever seen this much complete awesome Tupperware at once at a thrift store or otherwise. This is crazy. That's pretty wild. Uh, I can't, I really can't, uh, I, I don't know what to say. And Dan hasn't texted back, has Lisa? As Let's soon see. as... Yes, she did. <laughs> what'd she say? <laughs> she said, what? Let's uh let's take a look at it. We'll uh we'll show everyone. <laughs> it's her size too. I'm gonna tell her. It's your size ish. <laughs> like it'll do. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sending all the random nonsense. Um I'm glad I didn't clean the game room before we started. I, know, I woke right? up this morning with the express <laughs> intent to clean this room up because we go live on Sundays and it's, it's that time. So make sure you're back tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern here on the channel. We'll be doing some shenanigans. Maybe some Tupperware shenanigans. I cannot believe the, the sheer amount of Tupperware and Brad Stalls that came today. I'm just over the moon. Thank yeah. you. And there's, there's, it was like all the high points for me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys rock. Uh, but thanks for being here, everyone. Listen, we do post daily videos on this channel, so we'd love to have you back tomorrow. Uh, and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because we're well on our way to 15,000 subs and we'd love your help getting there if you haven't already hit that subscribe button. So until tomorrow guys, peace out.